Atiku fires back at Body George over claims Nigeria would have collapsed if he won presidency. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has slammed Body George, a former Deputy National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for claiming that Nigeria would have collapsed if he won the presidency in 2023. In a statement on social media, Atiku's media aide Paul Ibe described George's comments as imprudent talk and highlighted the benefit of an Atiku presidency. Ibe stated that Atiku's leadership would have brought prosperity, merit based appointment, and safeguarded Nigeria's interests, unlike the current administration, bigotry, and nepotism. Ibe also criticized George for his silence on his on the present administration's performance, suggesting that its reticence might be due to Atiku's non-Southern origin. His words, and I quote, Contrary to Chief Body's George Imprudent talk, an Atiku presidency would have heralded an era of prosperity driven by a cabinet brimming with seasons and adept individuals chosen solely on merit regardless of their background or beliefs. Such leadership would have been safeguarded Nigeria's interests, steering clear of the bigotry and nepotism and brigandage that characterizes this administration. Instead of the current state of disarray driven by haphazard policies, Nigeria would have thrived under Atiku's guardians. In contrast, we see Badi George, who once threatened exile should Tunibu ascend to power, now oddly silent about the present administration. His body is reticence because Atiku is not from his region. It is prudent to consider body's opinion with caution. Furthermore, body's conduct is a disservice to the military, an institution extinct for its unity. Here is a commodore who paradoxically embraces tribalism and undermines the very principles of the military. It is a source of shame for the armed forces to have such a figure in their ranks. George Hadella stated on Arise Television's The Morning Show that Nigeria would have experienced upheaval if Atiku, a northerner, had succeeded Muhammad Buhari, another northerner. He claimed that Nigerians would not have accepted this scenario, citing the party's zoning arrangement as the root of the problem. If Atiku had won, I would have stayed in my house because I would know that for real in the future, he would collapse. This country would never accept, he said. He added, if you had won that election, you would think this country would have been stable because somebody from the North, Buhari, had just finished eight years and our own norm is that after the eight years, the presidential candidate must come to the South. The People Democratic Party chieftain alleged that the party's zoning arrangement was manipulated to favor article leading to the current issues. Now it is true. It is very, very true. You see, the way I love the way the letter gave us exactly word for word, they quoted what Body George said. But they just said, if you had won the presidency, Nigeria would have, and it is true, no, um, Southerners would not have accepted. You don't have a Northerner rule for eight years. That one that ruled with calamity, that ruled with favoritism and nepotism and tribalism. And then another Northerner will come in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play. Come on. Are you joking? Are you playing? Stop playing. No, it, it, it's not possible. What would have happened is calamity. We would not have had, we would, there is no how we would have accepted. Whether Atiku is coming to say, eh, if he comes in, he will bring in his, this, he will bring in people, oh, please save it. We have been hearing this for a very long time. And yes, PDP now shoot themselves for like, how, uh, how will the Northern have finished? And you are not a northerner. I don't care whether you will tell me, oh, the north has the numbers, we decided, da, 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 da. Nah, please keep quiet. It is not going to work. What is right is right and what is wrong is wrong. What is right is right. This is not me here saying, okay, Tsunibu's tenure is good, but I'm saying we have capable people in the south that would have made this administration, you know, better. That would have come in and we are going to be seeing the work being done. We're not going to be guessing, is the government working? What are they doing? Our mind is not going to be up like this. Come on now, don't play. Somebody, why am I, why is this, why is this, 
causing a lot of anger is that we definitely have people who will come in and do better, but not from the north. Not after the calamity that befell us and the person of Buhari, please, I beg. Something you could not do during your eight years vice presidency. My dear Itaya, oh, Itaya, what did that he could do during his vice presidency? The little opportunity they gave him. Was it make OBJ and Atiku not work at the same route? Again, that's why oh, everybody knew it. Unlike people will be asking, what did happen? You know, we keep asking, what did happen with this person and this person? Then be vice president, then be president, or then be governor and deputy governor. Kilo and Shelley, you know what they need to get along. Nah, we Nigerians, we know it crystal clear that OBJ and Atiku, they know they work at the same road. Why? Because of what Atiku do. They just give you something, say, just hold on, make I, make I go, come back. Before they come, you don't sell everything. You don't sell everything. Convert them to your name. Now, pass away and I won't give them. Come, come on. Stop playing. <laughs> Stop what? Stop play. Stop shebe. It's not going to work. There is no possible. During Buhari's time, when Osibanjo was the vice president, when Osibanjo sat on that seat, the time, the few times, I don't know whether it is once they gave him that opportunity, he proved himself things were going well. In fact, it would be as if I ah, make this woman go sit down there say, we will make we know whether we could get more peace of mind. Yes. And then what happened? Huh? What happened? They said that no, this man won't do make things good. No. He won't do make him favor the people, make the people like her. Do you understand? Then they find the people's favor. Then come inside and say, you know what? If Buhari they come out, even like making go spend 150 days outside, even like making spend six months outside, say they no care. They no care. They're not going to give him that opportunity. They're not going to give Usiba and that opportunity to consider and rule again. Because they know what he was capable of. That is why I'm saying when we have capable people in this house, we have capable people. People that have proved themselves that, see, if I sit down for that, this is not people by, it's not my mouth, though. No. I think we sell all the human beings in Nigeria if you cannot get anything to say. Of course, you cannot wipe it away. And I blame PDP too for even anyway. I think we say go on. It's one of the problems of PDP. I think is one of the problems. Fine. He's one of the problems of PDP. Person will be saying he's not even stable. If he did PDP, he could go APC, they go up and down. And PDP still the whole PDP save go. I am very disappointed in them. Anyway, that one are their own day. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest.